This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Porkfest.com Well, I went to try and film a Rand Paul event at Guilford, New Hampshire on April 27th. Here he is headed out of and then back into a local country club. Even the outdoor part was on private property, presumably rented out by Republicans. So us media hounds were kind of at their mercy. I spoke with two Paul-connected operatives and requested an interview with the new senator. They said, no recorded interviews. And they indicated that they were requesting that of the other reporters, too. Here are the questions I would have asked him if given the chance. Senator Paul, RealClearPolitics.com quoted you this week, making some apparently favorable comments about FEMA. To what extent do you support this controversial agency? See my video descript for the exact quote. I would have also asked him, Senator Paul, they say one determined senator is all it takes to put a bit of gridlock on Washington. What's keeping you from using the filibuster process to create this gridlock yourself? What, if anything, do you think would justify a one-man filibuster? I realize you're not running at this time, uh, but as a perceived presidential hopeful, what's your view on the pardon process? Do you favor using it to release the hundreds of thousands who are jailed on victimless crime charges? You would have heard answers to those questions, but you won't because of the no recorded interviews request. They didn't want the speech recorded. And two operatives close to Ron Paul declined to go on camera with me. And in response to all this, I said, well, okay, you can do this if you want. Uh, you know, friendly folk like you get one freebie. I let the senator walk right past me without asking a single question. I could have broadcast the whole speech and didn't. But this kind of non-openness isn't healthy for Rand Paul's cause. Doesn't really hurt me that much. I'm kind of on an over-obedience kick lately. Anyway, if they discourage reporters from interviewing or filming a Rand Paul speech, I'll tend to comply and make that the story. It may be a more interesting story than what he had in the speech. But I'll tend to ignore his message completely. If that's what you want, that's what you get. The next time, I hope you'll let me talk to the guy, for your own sake. And the next time I bump into you guys in public, an ambush interview may be fair play. I didn't perceive much of a time crunch, and there were at least two, maybe three reporters there who could have talked to all of us at once, for five or ten minutes. Pleasing big-wig New Hampshire Republicans is important and legitimate, but so is the media. I guess that's what I get for asking permission. Now, he goes on to make a nice speech, but the message of the speech is essentially muzzled by the fact that recording is discouraged. If Republicans want to discourage the dissemination of this Republican message, there's only so much I'm going to be able to do to stop them. Everyone was nice, no one made any moves to try and corral or eject the Ridley cam. But if a former director of Homeland Security can talk to me without batting an eye, if a government school vice principal will do the same, why can't Rand Paul? Get ready. It's the biggest liberty-oriented event of 2011, and it's happening this June 20th through the 26th. Will you be there? The Free State Project's Porcupine Freedom Festival is a week-long camping event held at Rogers Campground in the beautiful White Mountains of New Hampshire. From live performers to family fun to agorism in action, Porkfest has something for everyone who loves freedom. What are you waiting for? Be a part of the premier freedom event of 2011. Visit Porkfest.com today. That's P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com.